Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going on a road trip and I'm here with Sumaya, of course. Mashallah, guys, she's driving now, which is so insane. <laughs> it feels so good to be a passenger princess. We should lived in London, wallahi. It would have been madness. We're on our way to East Sussex. We're just going to for a quick lunch before we hit the road again. You know why I'm carrying this huge ass camera? Because I told you, no, I told you my phone broke, my camera, I broke my camera the other day, yeah? Yeah. Remember, and then I texted you and I was like, has Amazon even done that to you, right? So I ordered a new camera on Amazon for next day delivery. Next day they say it's been delivered while I've been at home the whole time and it wasn't delivered. And then uh, I called them and they're like, oh, it's going to be delivered tomorrow, whatever. The next day they, they deliver and they deliver a pack of pa baby wipes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I thought this was your new camera. No, this is huge. I wanted the small can is Sony. Um. So it's easy for me to like go around with. Guys, welcome to East Sussex. We are like a few minutes away from our Airbnb. Where's the ocean? I can't see. All I see is green. Where is the sea? I cannot We're gonna see. Get a puddle. <laughs> We're gonna get a puddle. My makeup is melting. This update. We were at the wrong completely wrong area <laughs> we had to we've been driving for another hour to actually get to the actual place that we are in we're here because i now actually see uh the ocean and it looks like it's the place i'm so excited i'm really excited for this wow when we reach guys the houses, look i was like this is not it oh amazing there's the whole beach here and then there's the driveway and all the houses here imagine their views every day looking at this like, oh, I would have never known there's such a thing in the UK. Oh, guys, the view looks incredible. I can't wait to show you this. Literally, the ocean is like, oh, shoot. Wait, I was about to put the, I was about to put the window down. The ocean is right over there. And we're going to wake up like really early and go for a sunrise morning walk. I say that all the time. So I've lived my life in Lamu. I've been for like a morning walk maybe twice <laughs> in my whole entire life being there. I'm more of like, let's go for sunset then sunrise we are here okay this is the urban bee and look at the view okay entering with the right foot this is the Airbnb. how flipping cute i cannot get over this view that we have and the ceilings are so high up let's do a very quick tour you enter and there's like a little entry cabinet and there's a couch which is facing outside. We have the TV over there, a little breakfast table, a breakfast bar, the kitchen, which is so pretty. It's like an open plan kitchen. A kitchen here, a cooking area with a big mirror, which makes the place look so much bigger. Here, look at the big room doors. So nice. And here inside is the room. <laughs> it looks like Sumaya and I are on a honeymoon or something. <laughs> really spacious, you guys. This room is big. Have some extra cushions, some games there at the bottom, towels. A little makeup area and the bottom right here next to the room we have the shower toilet in there so at least the toilet is private a sink right next to it I'd have to kick some way out <laughs> while taking a shower and that's it and you come back out in the living room and you have the view again of the ocean oh, I'm in love I'm in love we carried some bits and bobs from the house so for example last night I marinated some chicken and put it in this container and then I froze it this morning before we're leaving I just popped it in the bag so we're gonna grill this tonight in the oven I'm gonna make chicken and put roasted potatoes all in one and that's gonna be dinner so I baked a cake because our plan for the weekend is just have chill vibes relax just like kind of like get away from our life you know we're not running away we're just getting away what do these guys have in these 
covered. I do see a dishwasher, so that's good. We don't have to hand wash the dishes. I hate hand washing dishes, you guys. Guys, we've made it to Aldi. We're just doing a very quick shop. Essentials for the quick shop is milk, bread, some eggs for breakfast. Cutest little make milk cartons ever. I love this. Guys, I said we're coming for a quick shop. Look, the cart is already full. Aldi is like the closest supermarket shop that we found closest to our Airbnb. It's a brand new day here in Hastings. I didn't realize that we're actually in the south of England and the day is such a, such a beautiful day. Such a beautiful day. There's people at the beach, but we're going exploring right now. Look at that. View from the apartment. Sunny day, clear sky. Samaya is here and we are out the door we're going. I forgot to put some sunscreen on my body. I always have to have like Put it on my hands on my feet because that's where my son is the, like the skin exposed i cannot tan you guys i hey i'm reapplying the sunscreen all day because obviously when you're doing laser hair removal you cannot tan it's coming like a string it's so funny i wonder if it's expired okay guys we're going for a walk along the ocean and there's so many like restaurants all across the road and yesterday i was looking at google maps i saw a pier like a decking pier and i think it's on the other side of this of this road agenda for the next 30 minutes so we're going to be well i'm going to be looking out for a hat when i was packing yesterday leaving the house i could not find my big like my big hat that i carry all around when i go to the beach because this sun it's too much and the battery of this camera is running low oh my gosh i don't have extra batteries i will at one point have to change to my phone we're just like walking around and i'm just constantly in awe of the ocean right in front of us this furniture store has a long chair beautiful imagine but green on the left and blue on the right love it also yesterday i i also checked i was checking the google maps as well like what's around us and I saw that there is a uh, there is a boutique hotel. It's called Zanzibar Zanzibar House. I can't wait to see it. So we're walking. Hopefully, we catch it. The sound of this is gonna be really bad. I really apologize, guys. We have a landmark here. Queen Victoria. the next day i've been so bad at vlogging this trip so much fun just disconnecting from the world and everything but we are now all packed going back to london so i just went to take the car so that we could drive back i'll catch up with you guys when i get home finally my new camera arrived and i've just set it up so i'm just testing to see how good it is or it's focused and all the settings i just came back from my weekend getaway with samaya i absolutely needed that getaway so badly i'm stocking myself up with sunscreen right now i just realized i i did bare minimum to none for vlogging that weekend but you know what i needed to switch off i am addicted to working i absolutely love this sunscreen this is the this is the paula's joyce advanced sun protection daily morning it's really nice it's spf 50. this always happens and i put the mic the wrong way it's so annoying i feel so inspired as well you know today's perfume of the day is going to be gucci bamboo i really like this it's a fresh scent fresh scent 
but it's like perfect for every day because Tarek and I are actually going for grocery shopping right now. I felt so inspired this weekend, but especially by Samaya. You know when they say your friends are a reflection of who you are? It's so true because... And Samaya, I know you're watching this, so when you do watch this, honestly, thank you. Thank you for just being yourself. Yeah, I was so inspired this weekend by, by Samaya. Despite her like being a mother, having a whole damn business, mashallah, needing time for herself and all of that, she is still on the path of constantly acquiring knowledge, Islamic knowledge. I'm watching her making time for like online classes. Despite us being on holiday, she had um, some Islamic classes going on and she made sure like she was back in the apartment to be on the Zoom for those classes. She makes time for reading Quran and all these little, little things that I just saw and I was just like, wow, mashallah. So my, I'm really sorry for like exposing the stuff that you're doing i really am sorry for that i don't know if she would like that but i just wanted to share that point of having good friends who inspire you who are doing well especially who are doing better and things that you want to become better at is so important in one of my previous videos i was telling you guys how i was really struggling in like maintaining my good habits for example waking up early and drinking a lot of water another one is like praying on time especially in summer because the summer day is so long the hood is so long i'll pray it later then later becomes acid it comes up just like that taking time to read quran just even 30 minutes 30 minutes in the morning if it's reading or listening or anything just for 30 minutes have that peace and connect with allah should i do like an islamic challenge for all of us to like follow up on and then you guys can comment if you're what you're struggling on and tips that are helping you perhaps in like cultivating better islamic habits let me know i think that would be really nice for like all of us to just come together and help each other in growing better habits for ourselves i like that i made some chicken curry yesterday so i'm just heating it up i go grocery shopping and i haven't eaten which is the case right now and i'm so hungry I will tend to like take anything and everything from the grocery store. Ugh. Honestly, it's so funny how life has changed over the years, you guys. Like when I was back home, I never ever ever used to eat second day food. Like if the food was from yesterday, I cannot eat it the next day. It was just physically impossible. It wouldn't go down my throat. Move to the UK? Hmm. Third day food. Eat it up. Let's eat. Smell. <laughs> and the reason isn't because like Ati was struggling or something like that. No. Who washed the dishes? Who's gonna cook again? Cooking every day? No. Mm -mm. to you you need to get yourself this school cake about something new to try this is the lotus biscoff but then it has a layer of biscoff cream and then it has milk chocolate <gasps> it looks so good guys we're making burgers we're actually making them at home that is gonna marinate it uh, marinate the minced meat and then we're gonna grill them guys Tarek made some chip masala chips and burgers do you want to tell them what you used? um i used black pepper mm -hmm. garlic ginger garlic and ginger paste black pepper and salt you don't need a lot of spices oh, i'm actually so hungry with water i've been so good with my water today what do you want to top it up with oh yeah i need salad i need my nando sauce I need all the good. Oh, I need coleslaw. It's fine. I have coleslaw. Burger. I only asked for one, so that's why I have only one. Here's yours with cheese. There you go. Top it off with my favorite sauce in the world. been a blessing us all week it is literally 21 degrees outside every time summer comes up i completely forget how winter is 
I'm like, this place can never get cold and gloomy and ugly and miserable. And then winter comes and we're freezing to death. And I'm like, does this place really get hot until we don't have to wear puffer jackets? You know, it's just a cycle every year, every year. Right now I've forgotten about winter. Like what? I love UK. What do you mean I'm miserable here? No, I'm actually very happy. This week we have quite a crazy number of PRs. In my previous video, this girl commented that she would like me to go a little bit slower when I'm sharing PR. And the thing is, the reason why I share PR is just because it's fun. When I watch like other influencers or stuff, like I really enjoy like seeing them unpackage or like do hauls or stuff like that. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know what's new. Like I just enjoy watching people do hauls and unboxings. So I do hauls and unboxings. So if you don't like this part, you can skip it but I enjoy doing this. By no means do I do it to show off or anything like that. Should we go from small to big? I think so. Last week, I went for two perfume events. I think you guys definitely saw them in the vlogs. The first one was with Granado. It's a Brazilian perfume brand. At both of the events, which one was Granado and the other one was Rhodes, they gave us like a tour of all of the fragrances that they had. And then we got to choose which ones we liked the best and they sent it to us. So I received them this week. My two, my two chosen ones was Jardim Real, which is like that. And the second one was their Oud Cologne. And I kid you not, you guys, this is the biggest perfume bottle I have ever, I have ever seen, I have ever received. It's, <laughs> it's literally, it's literally a 300 ml perfume bottle. This thing is as big as my head. How pretty is the detailing though? Um, so yeah, this is their Oud Cologne. It's not your typical oud fragrance. It has, it's more of like a citrusy, woody smell. It's the size of my hand, maybe even bigger. So the second one that they sent me is this Jardim Real. I think they all, they all have this beautiful drawing detailing on them. It smells quite floral. <sighs> so good. This is how the bottle looks like. What are the notes on this? Yeah, one thing that really annoys me is a lot of the brands don't put the notes on the boxes, on the perfume bottles. I tend to have to always go to Google to like get the list of all of the notes in it. From the Rhodes event, I chose these two fragrances, Big Sky and Cloud Nine. I actually did not choose Cloud Nine. I chose Mountain Flower, which is a beautiful floral fragrance, but they mixed up my they mixed up my choice with i think one of the other influences so they sent me cloud nine but basically cloud nine literally smells like a baby if you crave that baby smell like baby powder just like a baby a newborn flipping baby what a baby smells like this cloud nine smells like it so big sky this one this one is from is from the rose african edition so back here they have all of the like a list of you know the inspiration for for the fragrance i remember this to be an oud scent if i remember correctly and the packaging is really nice what is this a sticker is this a sticker like when i was i was complaining and literally everything is here they have a little like card letter that comes attached into the box and it has the list of notes in here that's the first so yeah this is how the fragrance looks like it's called big sky uh, the green is their African collection. Top notes, citrus, lemon, orange flower. Heart notes, geranium, patchouli, oud note. And the base notes are amber, sandalwood, cashmere, myra, and vanilla. Spray it somewhere up here. Oh, put it in my mouth. Just as I remember it. I love it so much. Big Sky from Rhodes. Next is this little package from Giorgio Armani. I still am in... I still am in shock. I get Giorgio Armani PR. It's just it's insane. They've launched their Beauty Luminous Silk Blushes. I've already unboxed them. Beautiful shimmer in it. The perfect summer blush. The other one is more of like a hot pink blush. So these are the blushes side by side. Can't wait to try these. Yudu Toilette from Yardley. The thing about Yardley is that they are vegan, cruelty free. 94% natural as well. So when I see this blue box, I just know what's inside. Oh, they have a new cleanser. No oil, just breaks down all of the makeup. And then when it turns into foam, it cleans. Okay, let's do this one by Wishful. How cute, how flipping cute. Everything's pink. This is this microfiber towel. When you've taken a shower and you wanna put your hair up, so we have their Yo Glow, 
I love their Yo Glow. It makes your skin so smooth, perfect for like before your makeup application, PHA cleanser. We have two concealers by Glowish, their bright light concealer. When I tell you I have butter fingers, my hands don't hold anything. Yesterday I broke a plate and it shocked me so badly. The whole kitchen was filled with glass everywhere and now I just keep dropping things. We also have their legit lashes. This is their mascara. And then lastly, we have a pair of these hand, hand muffs. You guys know I have a, pair, a black pair, so now at least I can wash those and use these as well. This one is from Muji. It's all like home refreshing products. So we have a reed diffuser over here. Fings, perfing, perfing strose and rose. Literally, I do not know how to read that. Perfing strose. A diffuser. Have you guys ever heard of these notes? They gave me two candles. The small one is... So good. This is orange blossom and yuzu. It smells amazing. This one also smells incredible. Amber and sandalwood. Really big as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like uh, yesterday I had these open like this and for hours, for hours I was watching TV like trying to figure out where is that incredible smell coming from. They legit smell so good. You know they say save the best for last. This is the largest package I've received this year. What in the world is going on? This is Ritual's Ritual of Karma collection. They have sent me a passport cover. This is a sign that Tarek needs to book us a holiday. Their overnight body mask. Body mask. Overnight hydrating body mask. I've never heard of body masks. It smells of the beach and sunscreen. Literally how it smells like. So yeah, this is their body mask. It's supposed to hydrate your body overnight. So you put it after you've showered and it hydrates. This is the after sun cooling shower gel. This one has more of a floral fragrance. It has lotus flower and white tea. And I really like this little coat that they have on it. Do good and do, what? Do good and good will come your way. We have two sunscreens. They're both invisible sun protection. One is a milky spray and the other is a face cream home spray scent of holy lotus and white flower like i've been spraying this all week it makes your home smell so good what i spray it on is mostly the couch the pillows um even the chairs it kind of like catches the scent the fun part they put a ping pong set literally you guys it is a ping pong set an actual ping pong set I love it when brands get creative in their PR packages. They're like me and thought I could just play ping pong all day. Ball? There should be a ball. Let's see how my ping pong skills are. My mom will be watching this going like, Farhana, what is going on with you? Uh, thank you so much to every single brand that sends me stuff. I'm always, always so grateful. I enjoy sharing all this stuff with you guys, so I hope you enjoy. My friend just came over. We're going out to the park. Filled in a bottle of water with ice cubes. Have you guys tried these Ritz biscuits? But these are the mini Ritz um, biscuits and they're salted, but they're so addictive. I can literally have like 10 of these packets. This is my bag. Let me show you guys what I packed. Well, it's like a spontaneous little afternoon, girly afternoon thing. I packed two more of them, three of them. Sunscreen, because we gotta top up our sunscreen throughout the day. I have some hand cream, a pack of tissues. Oh my God, glasses. How would you know summer's here without glasses, right? These Ray-Bans are so old. See, I 